No, no, I messed it up. Sorry. <coughs> yeah. Here we are. Too small. I can't see the. Is it possible to have? No. C'est un peu petit, j'en veux pas avoir. Ouais, vous saviez. Sinon, tu mets en PowerPoint. Sinon, je vais la voir. Ouais, je crois que c'est ça. Il faut agrandir pour qu'elle veuille mieux. D'accord, je vais essayer de côté. Je vais aller agrandir son fréquence. Ça va, je crois que ça va. C'est bon C'est bon Non Non, oui, ça va. Ouais. Merci. So, good morning, everybody. So, I'm uh, Dr. Mahut from Algeria, and I'm very happy to be here today. And I want to thank um, uh, Fondation Merieux for inviting us. So, rabies in Algeria. Uh, rabies is a reportable disease and continue to be exotic in Algeria. In fact, an average of 900 cases of animal rabies are reported every year. So, um, <coughs> we have in uh, 2017, we have uh, uh, human rabies where 116,403 of animal bites, bite cases with uh, 20 cases of rabies death. 16 cases were uh, clinically di diagnosed, and four cases uh, were um, laboratory confirmed. For animal rabies in 2017, we had um, 593 of animal rabies cases. For dogs rabies cases, we had 1,315 uh, cases. We don't have information for laboratory, etc. So for the post, uh, for the pre-exposure prophylaxis, the vaccine used in Algeria is uh, vaccine Sanofi Pasteur. So for the pre-exposure, we use uh, three doses at D0, D7, D28. Uh, in Institute Pasteur in um, Center, we received uh, 107 people for the pre-exposure. So people who are concerned by this uh, vaccination is uh, laboratory staff who handle the rabies virus veterinary, vet faculty student, people who work with animals, and finally travelers who uh, go to endemic countries. Uh, the payment, the the payment, the, the vaccine is for free. Government pay for the, the for the vaccine. For the post-exposure prophylaxis, so the vaccine schedule use is uh, uh, Zagreb Regiment 211, and we use it's the most uh, used for for the and we use also uh, SN for immunodepressed people. Vaccine use is also uh, Verorab from Sanofi Pasteur, and people who receive this post-exposure uh, prophylaxis are 119,080. A number of people who received uh, ERIG were um, um, 31,007. Also, the vaccine is for free. Government paid for that. So 
We try to promote the implementation of Ministry of Health Instruction number 5 of February 14, 8016, guidelines for the management of people with rabies exposure and people at risk of rabies. And we promote also intersectorial coordination through the application of interministerial instruction number 14 of um, number 14 of November 2015 to uh, the prevention and eradication rabies. So we did some actions uh, in 2017. So for the day uh, for rabies day. So we, we had a scientific national conference with the press conference and uh, we had developed uh, courses uh, talking, about, uh, speak, uh, talking about rabies in uh, elementary schools. And the challenge was uh, to maintain a high level of awareness for the public and health professionals. So for this year, we try to, for this year, uh, 2018 will try to involve both interior and agriculture ministry during this day. And uh, <coughs> we, we did six regional training uh, around the country, uh, concern, um, cons courses on rabies management for health professionals with workshop, um, we improve the skills of the staff responsible for managing rabies risk and we improve the management of anti-rabies units, national standardization of Canva. So uh, we, ha we have uh, the same Canva for all the country uh, and for all uh, the centers. So with the same register, patient record and vaccination card. And we set up a national byte database. <clears throat> So uh, the training for health professional, uh, we did the training for health professional who will themselves become trainers. And we will try for this year, we will try for this year to develop a uh, standard information education and communication plan on the management of rabies risk. Six other training, trainings for, uh, for this year targeting other region regions or counties uh, uh, in the country. So uh, we did also uh, investigation of cases of rabies deaths, uh, audit and uh, of all subject, um, no, audit of all suspected cases of uh, death by uh, rabies, risk assessment of new cases, it is for uh, the risk assessment of new cases of rabies, assessment of the management of rabies, and review the management of the anti-rabies units, availability of vaccines and anti-rabies serum, cold room, etc. Setting up of an intersectorial committee specific for rabies. We'll, we'll have in this committee um, people from uh, Interior Ministry and Agricultural Ministry and, of course, Health Ministry. I pass to <coughs> the communication. Just uh, I'll speak about uh, rabies cases. So, uh, Algeria is uh, a very large country uh, with over uh, 2 million kilometers squares, so we are 40 million inhabitants, however 60% live <coughs> in urban area. So, in Algeria, rabies is a public, in Algeria, rabies uh, is public health problem. It has been a report reportable disease since 1984, uh, and a year later it was identified as a priority disease by the National Zonos Control Committee, hence the establishment of a national program to fight against rabies. 
So the geographical uh, distribution of rabies infection in animals has been almost identical for more than 45 years. So up to 91% uh, uh, were, were um, <coughs> I, uh, so sorry, so up to 91% were identified in the north of the country and only 8.2% uh, were identified in the south. So only six wilaya, or what we say wilaya in Algeria, or counties of the south maintain the rabies-free health status to date. And it is, uh, this is due for uh, the very low concentration of the canine population, the vast, and also for the vast expanse of the southern territory and the long inter-community distances. And finally, uh, the environmental uh, conditions are uh, difficult for the survival of stay animals. So the reservoir of rabies cases is essentially represented by the canine species, then cattle and sheep, etc. So uh, this graph show uh, this graph show the um, <coughs> decline uh, canine, uh, canine rabies thanks to uh, the, thanks to the vaccination vac canine vaccination program. So there is a correlation between uh, uh, rabies, uh, rabies uh, uh, animals cases and uh, rabies human. Uh, cases. <coughs> so last year uh, we had 116,403 cases of uh, bite, bite, so with 59% concerned adult uh, people. And um, uh, amongst those uh, fish, uh, these those uh, twenty uh, cases, uh, nine cases were children, and under ten years, and eleven cases were adult. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, thank you. So for the sex ratio, uh, it was 5.6 cases of male rabies are significantly higher than female cases. This, is, this distribution is explained by the way of life with more outdoor exposure for male subjects. So of the 20 cases of rabies reported, <laughs> we have 11 cases who did not consult, four cases received incomplete post-exposure prophylaxis, so maybe there, there were no ERIG, uh, there, were, there, there, were, there was no ERIG uh, or incomplete vaccination schedule. And we had <clears throat> five cases who received a complete uh, post-exposure prophylaxis, but maybe um, uh, the time was delayed or uh, the, the bites were, were, uh, was very large and we have different, uh, we have many, many causes. As conclusion, so Algeria through, through its health services, veterinary and local communities has put all human and material resources to achieve the goal of eradicating rabies by 2030. Since the establishment of the National Rabies Committee by the Ministry of Health, effective results have been achieved such as the standardization of care, the continuous updating of the ministerial instruction on the conducted that conduct to be held in the event of a bite training seminar through the national territory and the permanent monitoring of animals rabies uh, to prevent the risk of transmission to human and thank you